Hey everyone, Eric Swanson here with Eric Swanson Outdoors and Addicted Fishing. Today I want to talk about how the fish move with the tides and how to target them. The ideal tides for targeting a Chinook down here in the buoy tent fishery are the low tide exchanges. So when you're looking at your tide book, you want to look at your high and your low tide. And if you have something like a five and a half or six foot high and a one and a half, one foot low tide, those small exchanges, those fish move up, the tide changes on them, and there's not a ton of flow either direction, and they kind of get confused on where to go. And that's what makes those tides so good is they just don't know where to go, and we can really do well. The fish down here at Buoy 10, they flush in on the incoming tides. Then once they get up around the bridge and they hit that outgoing tide, they either decide they want to move up river or they move back out with the tide, depending on which stage in the migration process they are. What I like to do down here in the Buoy 10 fishery is on the really big incoming tides, I like to go down to the Buoy 10 buoy itself and ride that incoming tide and get all those fresh fish pushing in. Generally what I like to do is on the incoming tides, fish my gear a little bit more suspended because as those fish flush in, they're not necessarily gonna be hugging the bottom. They're just gonna be riding that wall of water in. And then once the tide switches and starts going out, the fish tuck towards the bottom to get out of that big heavy current. Thank you guys for watching. That was a brief explanation on how the fish move in and out with the tides down here at Buoy 10 and how I personally like to target them. For more content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I know Eric, when I first started going down to Buoy 10 the first few years, dude, it was hard to figure out the it tides. Is. I was calling Cameron a ton to just ask advice on what the fish were doing. So it was cool to see kind of from you and your outlook on how right. these fish move with the tides. Exactly, these fish flush in and flush out so quick with these tides that if you're not on top of it and you don't have an idea, you could be in one spot and the fish could be in the other. So the tides and figuring out where the fish are moving is huge to have success at Buoy 10. That is freaking cool. Well, if you guys have any suggestions or any other any other little pointers for the viewers out there that you want to put, feel free to comment below. Put them in the put them in the suggestions. We always love to hear what you guys have to say. And make sure you subscribe because we're putting video number four out tomorrow, which is going to be Coho versus Chinook. Yes, which brings another big question. So it brings another huge question. Yes, and it dude, it's like. How does a new guy, or even a guy that's fished down there for years, I know right. even sometimes Cameron or you will struggle like right. finding the coho. Absolutely, it's tough and you know, this goes back to fish move with the tides. So it's just, it's a whole animal in itself and we're trying to explain it piece by piece in these videos. Cool, so in video number four, we're gonna talk about some pointers when it comes to finding coho versus finding Chinook down in the Astoria fishery. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. See you on the water.